my name is Mark Scogan. Uh, I'm president and uh, CEO uh, of our company. Uh, appreciate having you all out here this morning for our groundbreaking ceremony. It's uh, definitely an exciting day, an exciting time for us to uh, begin with another new store here today. I was joking a little bit ago that it seems uh, the last two stores, this one being the third, uh, we had some really bad weather uh, each time. Uh, not that it's raining or anything, but cooler than it should be, I think. So uh, we've been uh, become a little bit wiser and started to put a tent around us here uh, for these uh, events. Um, our store, uh, this will be number 15 uh, being built uh, right next to us. Um, and uh, we should be able to open in September. That is our plan as of right now. Uh, it'll be uh, somewhat the typical festival food store, about uh, 70,000 square feet is the size that we've been uh, building uh, as of late. Uh, for those of you that have seen our store in Manitowoc, it'll be somewhat similar with a, a couple of changes. Uh, we have kind of changed how our deli department looks. Uh, it's shopped in the round more than it is against the wall right now. Uh, and we'll be doing more uh, things along the line of being green. Uh, our store in Manitowoc does have light pipes and we'll have light pipes here as well, which allows us to turn the lights down in the store a little bit. Uh, when we can get that natural light coming through. And uh, we also put doors on most all of our refrigerated cases now. So typically grocery stores up to this point have sold yogurt and shredded cheese and butter uh, without uh, doors on those cases. And uh, we now put doors on those cases and uh, save some energy and, and really show off the product a little bit better than we used to in the past as well. Uh, Sheboygan, why Sheboygan? We often get asked, you know, anytime we build a store, why'd you decide, you know, this location or this city? Um, we believe the site is a, a great site. Uh, we've done market analysis as we do with any new store, and our analysis shows that we can do a, a good amount of business here, a healthy business. And I know that the question has come up over time, you know, is there room for another grocery store in Sheboygan? Well, to that I always say that we wouldn't build here if we didn't think we could be healthy, and we wouldn't build here if we thought somebody else needed to go out of business for us to succeed. So yes, there is room for everybody uh, in this market. It would be a terrible bet to make to say we're going to build a store and run somebody out of business. That's just not wise, that's not how we do business. Uh, so I think we'll all coexist and, and each have you know sort of a different niche in the market. Um, Manitowoc, you know, uh, was built a couple of years ago, so this was a natural progression for us uh, coming down Highway 43. And uh, we like the community, uh, the size of the community, uh, you know, what's going on here. It's our kind of place. We get asked from time to time, would you ever, you know, move to uh, Milwaukee, for example? And, and that is a different animal to us. You know, a city uh, like Sheboygan feels comfortable, good people. Uh, I think it's got a lot of life to it and uh, we look forward to being a part of that. Give you a quick history of our company. We started back in 1946 with my grandparents. Uh, they opened a, about a 3,000 square foot store. My dad always talks about how his house with his two brothers was connected to that grocery store. There was a door between the two so they'd go in that house, dribble their, or I'm sorry, in that store, dribble their basketballs around, play catch, ride their bikes, grab what food they wanted and go back into their own house. So. If you can picture groceries being done like that, you know, back in 1946, uh, it seems like an awful long time ago. We certainly wouldn't uh, be very successful with that sort of operation anymore. I don't want my house connected to the store, I know that much. So, um, my mom and dad still live in the Onalaska area, that's where that store uh, started in, in 46. Uh, I grew up there, went to high school and college in the area. Uh, my sister, I have one sister, uh, she is not active in the business right now and she lives in the De Pere area. Uh, I live in the De Pere area as well. I've lived there for over 15 years now. My grandma and grandpa have passed away uh, uh, at this point, so they're not involved. Uh, my dad is the chairman of our company, so still very involved as well. So a little bit about who we are. Uh, again, a uh, lot of new faces here today. You might be wondering who are these people. I'll give you a... Um, our five values in a, in a quick uh, statement about them. Servant leadership is very important to us. Uh, servant leadership basically means that we want to lead people in a way that removes barriers and obstacles for them so they can do their job better, so they can grow. Uh, it's a big topic, servant leadership is, but it's who we are and it's really been uh, important to our growth uh, over the years. 
Uh, service is one of our values. Uh, the boomerang theory, you hear a lot about that in our advertising and our marketing. Uh, that boomerang was an idea that came from a, a grocer in Ireland, actually. And what it means is that every decision we make is based on one question, will it bring the customer back? A lot of businesses make decisions based on what's good for them, what's good for the short term, what, how can you make a buck quick. And we understand and believe that looking long term and being committed uh, to a greater good is how you will be successful rather than short term decisions. So service is key to us. Execution is key. If we say we're going to do something, we're going to do it. That's one of my biggest pet peeves. I don't like to you know, say we're going to have an event and have a very poor event, let people down. Uh, we do a pumpkin blowout, for example, where uh, we've got thousands of pumpkins in the parking lot. And it's not just about selling pumpkins. It's about having fun and inflatable rides. Um, you know, at some they have a petting zoo, and it's just a big deal. Uh, so execution of those sorts of events and anything we do is key to us. Associate development is one of our values. We believe in, you know, helping people grow. In our business, a lot of uh, those who join us are, you know, their first job, high school age kids, and we have a great opportunity there to bring them along and make them better when they leave than when they got here. We don't want them to leave. We hope they stay forever, but, uh, you know, that is, that is important to us. We have a Dollars for Students program, which helps them save for school. Uh, for secondary education, for college, and we uh, match that amount that they save as well. And then involvement. This is really key. Being involved in our communities um, has been critical since back in 1946. My, my grandpa was always good uh, to those in the community. Uh, hear stories about how he used, he used to be able to charge groceries back then, just walk in and put it on your tab, and quite often somebody would fall on tough times and he'd just forgive their, uh, forgive their bill. And so you know, it meant a lot back then and it means a lot now. Uh, we're involved in fireworks in a lot of our communities, sponsoring those, giving back to uh, nonprofit organizations. It's just what we do. And uh, if anything we're at fault for, it's uh, not saying no enough because sooner or later you have to uh, uh, make sure that uh, the business is profitable. But we have been, we've been successful, and we've been able to give back. We think it's the right thing to do. Just want to say uh, thank you to the city of Sheboygan. Uh, this was a complicated process in, in, at times uh, because of you know Walmart having been here and had some control over the building and things. I want to thank Mayor Bob and the city. Chad uh, was wonderful to work with them. Um, the thing that I can say about them, you know, we get to work with a lot of cities, and sometimes you might ask or request or look into something and the answer is sort of we don't do that here and I never felt that way you know not everything is possible it's okay to say no but it was never closed minded so I appreciate uh, what they did to get this done uh, we have Robert Schmidt with us as well Boulder Venture uh, who will be our landlord here uh, in this facility and he had a lot of work to do as well to coordinate and, and make this all come together so we appreciate uh, uh, Robert and the city of Sheboygan. Uh, also want to thank Super Value, who is our business partner. We have a couple guys from Super Value, Jeff and Mike, if you'd raise your hand. Super Value provides us with about 50% of our groceries. Uh, they are our wholesaler, and uh, we have a great partnership with them. They really help us grow. Um, it's, an, it's crucial that those that bring you your groceries are part of the team as well, and they've always been very supportive of what we do. So. Um, you know, in, in, in closing, what I'll say here uh, before I'll bring up Mayor Bob is that, you know, we have a lot of work to do. We have to earn the business that we'll have here in Sheboygan. We have zero customers right now, uh, if you think about that. Nobody really knows us. Maybe you've been in a store uh, in Manitowoc or in Green Bay, maybe Fond du Lac, but nobody really knows us. We haven't earned anything, and we know we won't be given it. People don't just show up at the store because you put a sign up and say, all right, I'm here to you know, spend some money with you. So I think you're going to find the shopping experience a good one in our stores. Grocery shopping is a chore to most people. Most of you would raise your hand and say, no, I hate it. I don't like doing that. So how can we make it as good as possible, enjoyable as possible, through good people? Uh, like I talked about our associates a little bit, they are critical to our success. We sell a commodity. 50,000 items in there. They're not that special. The can of corn is the same here as it is down the street. So what will make it better is the experience, and that, that really relies on the people who work with us. So um, that's going to be key. We'll hire about 230 here. Um, 
and I would say 95% of them will be folks uh, from Sheboygan that don't work with us today. Uh, our store manager, Michael P. Weiss, is here. He's in the back. Uh, Mike's been with us in uh, various uh, new stores, opening a new store for us, and, and that can be complicated in itself. Uh, so we're excited to have Mike, uh, a veteran, at doing that, opening our store. But he'll put a team of 230 together, and uh, we're looking forward to serving all of you and earning your business. I want to thank my assistant, Danielle. Some of you, I want her to raise her hand because some of you have had email correspondence with her, and uh, she organized this event today, so thank you for that. Uh, as well as Steve Burkhart, one of our supervisors. Uh, there's Steve in the back. Uh, helped us uh, put this together, too. So... Um, so with that, thank you for coming. Look forward to meeting uh, you. Um, you know, don't be afraid to reach out and, and you know, let us know about what's going on in the community or an idea you have for the store uh, or ways we can hit the ground running when we open the doors because uh, we've got a lot of work to do and we appreciate any help and, and uh, how welcome you've made us feel. Uh, after Mayor Bob comes up, we will uh, go outside to do some pictures with shovels. Uh, having the confidence in the citizens of Sheboygan and our city to come here and do business with us. This has been a long process. Uh, we began uh, with Robert Schmidt and Boulder Ventures several months back, many months back, uh, in trying to uh, facilitate uh, the building of this store in Sheboygan. As we all know, uh, we had a former Walmart property here and it had some deed restrictions on it and uh, they asked us if we would assist them in getting those deed restrictions lifted um, as everybody said well you can't fight walmart and we decided we'd give it a try anyway and walmart was uh, cooperative enough to lift those deed restrictions that this could happen so that was uh, big for us um, we felt that uh, festival foods uh, would be the anchor of this entire complex out here, this Taylor, Taylor Heights complex, which when Walmart pulled out has uh, fallen on some hard times. We thought that with Festival Foods here, it would rejuvenate this area. Since then, uh, tonight at Common Council, we are signing an agreement uh, to redevelop the rest of this complex. It's going to be remodeled and it will, uh, some of these stores will be expanded and it will have the same look as the facade of the Festival Foods property. So what we believed is going to happen. This entire area will be rejuvenated. Uh, we are in the process of acquiring all of the land across Taylor Drive here, which is known as the Shukert Farm, uh, to develop this area full, uh, more fully and to uh, make this again a vibrant quarter for the city of Sheboygan. I'd like to uh, also thank both Robert Schmidt and Mark Skogan. Uh, right now, as this building is being demolished, it's being demolished by Wagner Excavating, a local company. It's very important to us. Uh, as the new building is going up, it's being constructed by Joe Schmidt. Joe Schmidt Construction Company, again, a local company. It's very important to us uh, to use local companies and to employ our local people. So this is nothing that we have control over. However, I ask that, you know, if at all possible in the bidding process, if we can get some local contractors involved, and these gentlemen were, uh, were uh, kind enough to do that, and we are employing local people in this process, as well as the couple hundred local people that are going to be hired to work this facility. So this is a great day for the city of Sheboygan and for the citizens of Sheboygan, and I think it's time to break some ground. Thank you. One, one quick uh, last thought here, and uh, that's what I get for going off script, trying to read my notes, but uh, Schmidt Construction, happy to uh, be partnered with them in this project. I can remember uh, uh, the mayor asking us, you know, you know, let's look at the local folks uh, for bidding, and we've used a small handful, a very small handful of general contractors in the past, and you get kind of picky about what you want to have, uh, who you want to work with when you build a new store. And I can say that they came in and uh, really impressed us from the get-go. Uh, everything came together nicely. You know, I would have put it at somewhat of maybe a long shot that it would work. But uh, I'm very impressed uh, with everything I've heard and uh, how the relationship has uh, 
uh, has started here. So uh, I think we were the ones who were missing out on their services over the years. And uh, it's, it's just great that we've uh, connected and we're going to do this uh, project together. So happy to uh, be partnering up with uh, the Schmidt team on this uh, project. So with that, let's uh, head a few uh, folks outside. Uh, thanks, everybody. Have it, if you put the pile in front of you, just get a picture with the dirt first if you want to get together. All right, if you want to look up here and smile pretty again, you're done. All right. Now, if you want to tilt it over in three, one, two, three, go. All right. Making a mess. Let's be done.